Morningmarketchameleon.com. I'm Adam. That's Uncle Will over there. Uncle Will, how's it going? Is it cold up there yet? It, it's pretty cold. Oh. So, so so cold that you have to have your long underwear on. Let me just see. Look, oh, I'm not. I'm. I am you, not loving the cold. You can I see am Will's, not loving the cold. You can see Will's. <laughs> Oh, the slow cat laugh. I like that, man. Nice. <laughs> all right, everybody. With options trading and all trading, uh, it is risky out there. We're here just giving you some ideas, but be careful out there. Read the disclaimer. and uh, Always be careful. Always be careful. What about, Will, can you go a little bit into uh, spreading your risk out today as you're talking yes. us through this the trading ideas today? How, well, how, about a little, how about a little money management, Will? How much do you bet on each trade? Do you, do you go all in? On every trade, will <laughs> we, we we never go all in? I, I would say use to the one to two percent rule, one to two percent of your portfolio. All right, on a, trade. See, a lot of people are like I there. never do. I would never do less than five percent. But dude, you got to be. I, I I'm yeah more of the uh, you know one percent, more of the one percent rule. Um, yes, one one percent. Is that what two. you like? Yeah, max. I did. I did see something that popped up on uh, the feed this morning. This Aerojet Rocketdyne Holdings. Any idea what they do? Uh, planes large, and plane parts. <laughs> la large, close, large call activity yesterday. We did report it. I didn't pick up on it. But what's great about it? If you go to the post, you'll see uh, there's been a series of call activity purchases over the last uh, couple months. And it looks like the play was into this Mars landing. This oh, was gotcha. the propulsion device that delivered uh, the new Mars rover, which is going to set the foundation for Elon's eventual move to Mars. 70% right. 70, 70 chance your man <laughs> is moving to Mars. So I, I saw the uh, the thing touch down yesterday. Uh, this is like, what, the 15th thing they've had land on the moon or on Mars. Could there be anything less uh, dramatic than just <laughs> miles and miles of nothing? <laughs> What's interesting is it's it's like a 50 delta, 50% 50 chance that they survive. You know, oh, there's, I mean, I, yeah, I think, dude. That's, I mean, you just look at it. It's just tough to I do. I think right? there's it's been 18 attempts uh, by all – by all senders, players, uh -huh. all, all players in the space, and yep. you know, like nine have survived. What What is really interesting is that one Mars. Actually, rover, for me, that's an incredible success rate, right? You would think about it. Coin flip. I yeah. guess. you're right. It is. It is shooting something <laughs> somewhat big when it leaves to somewhat tiny. Yep. To uh, try to hit a bullseye is it's pretty tough. So are pretty these amazing. guys? These guys are one of the. Uh, one of the uh, propulsion systems on that. Yes. That thing I'm going to do. Exactly. <laughs> ob ob or something. Obviously, if it doesn't make the touchdown, it was going to be a, right. a down day for them. But uh, it's interesting to keep your eyes on things. I think, listen, you have guys like Musk, Bezos. They're all in the space now. This is going to get more and more interesting, particularly, you know, Musk is our age. So he's, you know, about to touch... He's 32. To I didn't realize he was so young. <laughs> well, that's right. You're 32. You've been going backwards for the last 12 years. But he's got to get to Mars soon, right? If yeah. he's got to, if he's a 70% chance of living the rest of his life in Mars, because it's a one way ticket, there's no coming back. So, but wait, how, be... so these guys, I mean, can, I just look, think my, my brain naturally goes to is there any money in that, really? Like these guys, I mean, who else to, are there? Sure, they sell to NASA, and they can overcharge NASA crazy because it's a government contract. Yeah, yeah what else do they do? It's it's or are they just NASA. I'm assuming it's it's getting the satellites into space, and wow. you know there is a huge market with all the technology to get stuff up there to, you know, a allow for everything we have. So it's it's mm. a big big space. There but anyway, something nice. to keep your eye on. Uh, a J R D. Mm. I did a screen for uh, stocks today. What I was looking for is something bouncing off a bottom, and I was looking for stocks that are in a bear market, so 20% below their 52-week uh, high. 
you know how to get to the screener, right? Gotcha. Screeners, stocks. Yep. Uh, the one that jumped up top of the list off the bottom bounce, and this is not your favorite dead cat bounce, was Love, Southwest Airlines. I don't know if you've been on a, a Southwest recently, but they are a still, I, I view, one of the better airlines in the marketplace. Yep. They're, uh, wait, wait, wait. Better than Spirit? Because I love those seats that don't recline, man. I love those, man. Those are my favorite. They make you feel good when you get off that flight, huh? <laughs> There's nothing. How right. they even, like, I understand you want a cheap plane or whatever, but to th <laughs> if your seats don't recline, <coughs> God, for me, that's like, that's honestly, it's the worst. Like, I, I there's nothing more uncomfortable than that. Like, the, you go, you're, you're just trying to up. grab, just grab the, up. where's that button? Where is it? Where <laughs> Dude, is there's it? no button. Yeah, there's and then no you, button. And then you realize. Ah, uh, the cheapest flight was Spirit. <laughs> oh, that's I'm on a Spirit airline. It's like it's the only thing oh. worse than that is getting the uh, exit row seat. So you've managed to talk your way into the exit row seat, so you have the extra room, and you're like, "Oh man, this is gonna be great." And you get into one of those exit row seats that doesn't recline because it's like got another exit row behind you, and so they've dis they've figured that you know a reclining seat could prevent somebody from leaving the plane, and you're just like, "Oh, this is brutal, man." Yeah, that's a good point. Never you know what we call through. that, dude? First world problems, man. First world problems. <laughs> yeah, this is the, this is actually the most I've ever thought about it. So you know, I'm flying to France, and <laughs> oh, we're living the dream, man. So what? I, I cut okay. you off, dude. Sorry, you're in the you're in the oh, screener. No, no worries. So I, I screened for bottom. I'm trying to get a look for a, a, a bullish move. Mm -hmm. This lo love has obviously been beaten up. It's in a, b a bear market territory, 20% off its 52-week uh, high. Very good company going into big traveling season. You know, It's a place maybe you can get a, a spread off. So I looked at bull call, bull put spreads, uh, screen for Southwest Airlines, and there are a lot with the, the cushion to the downside and upside for the next you know, 20 days. Mm -hmm. So th th there are a bunch of plays in love. If you want to uh, love getting long, yeah. Southwest Airlines, there you go. Uh, I went, uh, then did a search on the bear side for actually for the bullish side. I, I went to uh, option. I looked at the option order flow sentiment to get another bullish idea. Went to top bullish. A lot of, uh, a lot of different things appeared uh, in the bullish. And How do you screw once you're here? What do you do to, to screen it down to uh, to filter those? What what do you what do you do? What's your what's your favorite kind of tips there? Well, this I mean, the, the great thing about this is this pulls everything in the marketplace, mm -hmm. and the chame the chameleon spits spits it out. I'm not so I'm it not does it without that. you thinking. That's what you get with a premium. <laughs> it's not these heavy heavy thick screen see I, i'm still you know I'm, I'm pushing for my bro and, and dimitri builders of the site to just have that the site is literally just a page and there's a button that you just push the button and it goes this is what you do and you buy this and you sell this but, but, but the they say it's more complicated than that but i don't believe it is <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, always a man with an idea so when you're there you, actually you can filter though by um by different ranks and stuff, just by clicking on the top of the uh, columns, right? And uh, filter down. Yeah, you can, but it, it, it broke down. It was 20, so it's not like mm -hmm. this big, uh, large number. And then I went through, and I found something in a sector I like, which was uh, rig. It's it's one of the biggest suckers of... Uh, oh boy, we've talked oh. about rig. Rig's come up a couple times. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a... a a quality quality product in the space and uh so i did uh i then screened for bull call and put spreads and there are a few of both to take a look at i mean this oil is due for a bounce that being said that being uh, said it could go lower <laughs> be, that's that's why you be careful be careful everybody you don't know you don't know this is tricky tricky territory man tricky that's territory. why you're that, that's why you're looking at the spreads spread yeah. your risk baby Yep. Uh, in the on the bearish side, <laughs> what did I see? I saw. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Your was that your brain? See, Will's brain's was... in dial-up mode, man. 
<laughs> I'll give you I'll, I'll give you a, a bear that jumped out at the news at me today. Yeah. Ba- Bank of America. I love love that man. <laughs> lots lots of bear call and bear put spreads to look at. Why? What's and happening with those guys? <laughs> they had a a machine in Texas, an ATM machine that started spitting out hundreds <laughs> instead of tens. Dude, that's not I don't see that's the type of thing. If I own, if I was running a bank, that stuff would be happening all the time. Every day, a Bank of America machine would be spitting out $100 bills. Why? Guess which ATM people are going to use, man. Guess which one. Ba- Guess which bank one ends up on the news. Dude, this is the easiest. This is like the simplest way. This is the the best publicity ever. This is like front page of the New York Times, man. I mean, come on. This is so easy. If you're a business, oh. if you own a bank, this is the easiest. That's the best ten thousand dollars you'll ever spend in your life. You think? You just spits it out. There's the there's the camera footage of the people going crazy and fighting. It's like it's like uh, it's Black Friday, but in front of an ATM. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. So you wait. So you think this is the bullish play? Oh, yeah. Yes. What? That the ATM <laughs> is spinning out? We're talking about them right now. Are you kidding me? This is it's basically free publicity. This is You're genius. Right. And, you, and you know what else they did to promote that uh, ATM visit? What? They, uh, they said they were going to give it away for free. Oh, so anybody they, who got money, it's anyone yours? Anyone who got it can keep it. See? That's what I'm talking. Dude, this, you're telling me this wasn't planned? Come on, man. You, so you're saying this was planned. That's what they're, I'm they're, saying, man. Oh, they're, I'm, not, I'm they're, saying it, it's a smart plan. I'm saying that's what I would do if I owned a bank with ATMs all over the country. Just once a day, just a random ATM. What does it cost? It costs us literally nothing. Right. This is fantastic well, marketing. Well, there you go. The opposite. Uh, I just did a search. Bull call, bull put spreads. There are a lot of opportunities to get you know long using the options and spreading your risk and having the cushion. Yep. So there you go. My brother and I are going to trade with each other today. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the sort of stuff that uh, you, you think about that and go, wow, this is just this. That's new genius marketing, man. If there was a way we could get the chameleon to just spit out bills on people's computers. That's what it even does. Need to do these you, morning you, shows you, anymore. Man. You, you, you haven't been getting those bills <laughs> delivered. <laughs> they, so that's what we'll right work here. on today, guys. We're going to work on um, one button. For all your trading needs and uh, the, the the dollar bills to spit out of your computer screen, man. We get that figured out, dude. We're in must category right there, man. Must category. Yeah, that, that would be good. That would be good for everybody. The last thing on the bear side that popped up was uh, the Spider uh, 550 Euro Index, which is a, uh, a play on the European large 50 companies. And... Uh, did a search and sure enough there were some opportunities to play that on the short side so uh with the cushion and uh, the returns that we'd like to see over the next uh, 20 days so what do you what do you what's your uh, current feeling on europe what's your gut i say? think <laughs> my gut says that markets are moving lower but my gut's off all right now uh, everybody what public. i want you to do is to do the exact opposite of what will just felt <laughs> Run, run long. Go the other way with everything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Never do anything. What did we talk about, Will? 1%, man, 1%. Keep it small. Trade often. Yeah, Guys, I mean, it's listen, risky we, out there. We, we, we just had a varying view on the BAC news. That's right. Absolutely. Me, I, I looked at it as they can't manage their... Their ATMs. ATM risk. You looked at it as a marketing uh, boy. genius, genius stroke of marketing, which cer- certainly, dude, probably one of the dude, most. Dude, searched, here's the uh, tagline: you know, Bank of America, cash every day. <laughs> Boom! I love cash that the first day. first person who went put it out on social media. <laughs> a flock, a flock of people. It's genius, man. Genius. <laughs> it really is. All right, everybody. That's that's so. Cool. Cool. Awesome stuff. Happy trading today. Uh, remember, click down below. You can all the links, uh, marketchameleon.com. You can trade for free. Trade for free. No, you can get the information for free. Uh, we do have premium service, which is pretty awesome. Um, and we give you a free trial if you want to try that out. Remember, we have our podcast for those of you who like to listen to podcasts like myself when you're working out. 
Did you catch my video this weekend, man? That's the Loved top. It. That's the top of Escazú in Costa Rica. That's man. the highest point in Costa Rica. Wow, it's the highest point in Escazú. I was up there, man. I was working. Anyway, that, lo that looks like the top of the Himalayas. <laughs> Did you tell everyone they can get a free one-on-one -on -one with the main you, man? They can, absolutely. When you sign up for that free trial, you get uh, I actually write you an email, and uh, you can book your one-on-one -on -one training session, how to use marketchameleon.com uh, for all your trading needs to get your uh, the data and analytics you need. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. And you see my kid in the background getting ready for school. Here we go, man. I got to run. Have a great day trading, everybody. Love you guys. Bye.